OK, let's turn on the cameras. It's time to make another celebrity wet. This is Innuendo Bingo. You know, some we do this game twice a week and sometimes when things like this happen, I'm like, how did we get to this point? In front of me now is Daniel Radcliffe playing Innuendo Bingo. This is yes. awesome. This is the best. Awesome. Thank you um, so much. I'm very, it's, very excited. This is going to be up there with one of the greats, Chris. You know I, that. Know, I know there's history being made right now. Go to bbc.co.uk slash radio one because you're about to see Daniel Radcliffe do Innuendo Bingo. Oh, incredible. Okay. Right, so you ready, mate? What yeah. we've done, Daniel, Cheers. is, is Cheers. for you, uh, because we want it to be a wet one, we've chosen some of the best of okay. clips from over the last couple of years for you. Wow, okay. God, no pressure. I hope you find them funny. <laughs> okay, so, lots of water, please. There, go, there is a no-hands rule, so if it's going to come out, just make sure it's over him. Okay. Oh, my God, this is so exciting. First to a show called Come Dine With Me, and a contestant called Emma is putting into practice a little trick she was taught by her mum. She crushes pistachios, chops mangoes, and combines with yoghurt before adding icing sugar. I've got a special face I like to do when I'm bashing my biscuits. <laughs> oh, there it is. I, I do, I do uh, apologise. Chris has quite, um, quite a fantastic, <laughs> no, 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 fantastic spray, so it is in your hair now, but you can get him back. And uh, thanks very much to Come Dime and me for providing that clip. I've got a special face I like to do when I'm bashing my biscuit. OK, now a travel news bulletin quite recently in the middle of Tony Blackburn's show on BBC London. Now, I know a windy day is supposed to put people in a bit of a weird mood, but I'm pretty sure no cyclist has ever done this on the roadside. Ready, lads? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Pippa Sparks, BBC London 94.9, the next travel at one. Thank you very much, Lee Pippa. Has, uh, to your knowledge, has any cyclist been blown off yet? <laughs> Oh, that's okay. a great trip to work. Hang yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's getting a little bit... Uh, it's, getting, it's getting wet in here now. Has any cyclist been blown off yet? Tony Blackburn there. Oh, well done, Tony. I'm going to remove the jumper. Yeah, it's it's sure. A, I think it's going to be a wet one. If oh, you're not watching, go to bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Inuit Bingo is on with Daniel Radcliffe. You want to watch this. Back to this Saturday night on BBC One, and we go over to Pointless Celebrities and oh. Andrew Armstrong. I'll probably watch this. Is, uh, do you like Pointless? Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. And Pointless Celebrities? Uh -huh. It's all right, isn't it? Mm. Andrew Armstrong is making actress Claire King really show him what she can do. Um, well, listen, you're, as I say, you're through, but let's see how low down the column you can get. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> oh, that's, uh... Steve from Hertfordshire saw that unfold. Oh, Excellent, thank you. So Couldn't believe he asked that. Let's see how low down the column you can get. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that might be actually something that's quite regularly said on Pointless yeah. as well. <laughs> what a show. Don't you love Richard? Uh, I love them both. Yeah. I do. You should go on. <laughs> You've been on, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do that? How do you know that? The idea. I've, 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 I've genuinely loved Pointless and Pointless <laughs> Celebrities. so weird. The idea that you've watched me on Pointless is quite stressful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've watched everyone on Pointless. I you lost to Sunita and Chico. Oh, man. It was a bad day, Daniel. Ooh, rough. Bad day. Mm. OK, now, one of our all-time favourites from Terry Wogan on Radio 2. And Terry is reading out some messages from his listeners. Got your waters there? Mm-hmm. Now, I really hope this email didn't come with any photos attached. It's a lovely spring day, says Nobby Clark of Huddersfield. Sun shining, birds singing. I'm going to clear out my back passage. <laughs> get some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it all happens on Weekend Wogan. <laughs> oh, wow. What a legend. I'm going to clear out my back passage <laughs> and put some flowers in. <laughs> put some flowers in. Put some flowers in. I missed in. that the first time. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh. You are listening to and watching Daniel Radcliffe play Inu and Bingo. It's happening on Radio 1 and on the Radio 1 website. Back to just last week now. More water, please. Over on ITV, Len Goodman is taking part in a documentary about one of his ancestors. <laughs> now, it turns out one of Len's ancestors was sent to jail. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it seems while there... It's fine, Dan. If you need to let it out, it's fine. Right. Have to get There's more water. water. <laughs> While there, Len's ancestor really took matters into his own hands. Len 
Ben's ancestor Henry was trying to earn premature discharge of his long. <laughs> <pe> <laughs> That's not even the bear. <laughs> okay, very, let's try and get I'm through this one. Mm -hmm. I know. Let's try and get through the whole thing. Come on. Can we manage it though? Len's ancestor Henry was trying to earn premature discharge from his long penal stretch. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you feeling in terms of uh, wet? I mean, it's good. It's like I've been on Splash Mountain. It's quite refreshing, it isn't is it? It's good, yeah. I mean, it's, you know. It's What's good. Splash Mountain? You know, in. Um, uh, it's just a Disney Harry Potter. No, no, no. no. Disney like in, in Disney World, there's like the log flume to mm. go down. Oh, okay. It's called Splash Mountain. I thought you were saying it's like being on Splash for a minute. Oh, like, yeah. That That's would never film. happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> now, Daniel, as an actor, you must be familiar with Soho Square. Yeah. Well, it wasn't until our listener Laurie watched this BBC Two documentary that uh, he realised just some of the things that go on down there. Ready to start pumping? Lloyd and Tony spend up to 12 hours a day down this shaft, <laughs> packing holes under Soho Square. <laughs> just sounds oh, so wrong. That's brilliant. Like, did they not hear it when they're saying it? I when know. Guys in the voiceover booth. Who wrote the script? Anyway. Packing holes under Soho Square. It's all in the oh, delivery, God, isn't it? It really is. Okay, so more water, please. It's, yeah. uh... It's kind of it's projectile from both parties now, which is good. Now yeah. over to a very quaint Sunday morning show on ITV about country houses, presented by Linda Bellingham of Voxo Cubes, who seems to be... Well, she was. Now... <laughs> yes, come on. Now, Linda seems to be getting on so well with her guest that she's completely forgotten that. Sorry. Linda's forgotten she's on camera completely. Can I use this? Could I use this on my floors at home? If you've got wooden floors, well, yes. I have actually got some wooden floors. Oh, and in yeah. fact, last Sunday I was on all fours with my husband. <laughs> oh, oh no, look at this now. Linda! Linda Bellingham! Doing oh. what? Like, what would she say? What story would she tell it? Last Sunday I was on all fours with my husband. Okay. Yeah, we'll never know. Now, we couldn't let Daniel go um, without introducing him to one of our recent finds. She's going to be made up with this. Daniel Radcliffe's actually hearing her voice. It's Caroline Martin on oh, yeah. BBC WM. You know Caroline. Oh, you'll love her. Uh, now, this is one of Caroline's greatest moments. We join her as she's playing uh, Phil Collins' track, although she hasn't been paying much attention to the music by the sounds of it. That's Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Easy Lover. It's BBC WM 95.6. Do you know what? We've just had excitement in the studio. My light bulbs went. I've just had three, three men come in to change uh, or to put the power back on. I'm going to blow them every day if I get those three back again. I'll tell you, that was scary. <laughs> Caroline! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. See, that's the wonder of BBC Local Radio. Caroline Martin, everyone. I'm going to blow them every day if I get those three back again, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was cheery. OK, so we've got two more to get through. Now, um, we're going to stay in the Inu and the Bingo Hall of Fame because we're here with Daniel Radcliffe. We go to the Vanessa Felt show now. Oh, great. Uh, and Vanessa has just shared an intimate moment with Voice of the Balls' Alan Dedicate. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Golden, it's six minutes past six and a glorious moment for me. Mr Dedicate came in to say hello. You know I love Alan Dedicate and I don't get to see enough of him and I've just seen him and had a bit of a cuddle and shown him just a little bit of my cha-cha-cha. <laughs> 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 oh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> my cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Oh, uh, Vanessa there, of that's... course, a Strictly contestant last year. Yeah, of course. That was... uh, she, she showed it to Bruce Forsyth after that. And one more. <laughs> right, final one. Oh, Finally. Really nice for this one. Danny oh, Radcliffe, in your bingo, dripping wet. What a ledge. Ledge. Finally, a very personal admission from Stephen Fry on BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Chris may have heard this one a few times. Now, he's been lending a hand to his dear cousin... Ready? Mm -hmm. But the Wild West does... Chris, come on, hold it together. Daniel Radcliffe's in front of you. Mm -hmm. But the Wild West does supply some useful clues, as I only recently recalled while I was helping my cousin jack off a horse. <laughs> 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 Cut 
cousin Jack there. <laughs> Lord. Uh, did you enjoy that, Daniel? I'm very, I did very much. I really don't think that keyboard's going to work or should have been left there. For, well, no, no, it's fine. It. We've covered yeah. it up with something. Um, uh, yeah. That was Daniel Radcliffe on Innuendo Bingo. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. And well, thank you lot at home for listening and watching. That was going to be was one of our best ones. Thank you, Daniel. Changed. That was excellent. Thank you so do have a change of clothes. Know, in, yeah, I do have a change of clothes. You know, in, in a month of, of fairly homogenous press this is an island of brilliance thank you i'll take that yeah we'll put that on the on the poster thanks daniel you're awesome thank you